Good morning. I pray that your Tuesday was filled with spaces and places of joy, of peace and happiness. I'm out taking a walk. I'm back from St. Lucia, but I'm actually walking not far from where I live, right across the river to a place that's close to Reagan National Airport. So you may hear sounds of planes and whatnot. This morning, I made a post that said, when some, if someone has really disappointed you and you forgive them, but in your head, you decide you're never going to deal with them again. And my question is, what exactly is true forgiveness? And that's something that I ponder. You know, for someone to truly disappoint you, that means that there had to have been some level of relationship between the two of you. Strangers may irritate you. Someone who's just an associate may really get on your nerves or make you angry. But in my opinion, to truly disappoint you, there had to have been a time when you all were in right relationship, when you enjoyed things together, when, 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 when that person made you smile, when you had good experiences. You know, if I don't really know you and you do something, you're not really disappointing me. I'm just like, Ugh, you know, um, I'm not hurt that much. But if I've been in right relationship with you, if we've had, like I said, good times, that disappointment hits me on an emotional level. It hits me deep within my soul. And so it had to be something that was so egregious that made me become disappointed and then I say, I forgive you. And, and, and I think that a lot of us rush to forgiveness. We may rush to it because of our faith tradition. We may rush to it because of whatever. The Bible says, forgiven you shall be forgiven. But for some of us, is that really forgiveness? Or is it just something that we say? I know for me, sometimes I really wrestle with forgiveness. And ultimately, I choose to forgive because I don't like how I feel when I'm in a constant state of unforgiveness. I don't uh, like how emotionally it has me feeling at odds. So I consciously make the choice to forgive whether the person has asked for it, whether they deserve it or whatever, but it takes time. In some instances, it may take weeks, it may take months, it may take years, but I am intentional about giving myself the space and time to work through it, particularly if I had been in relationship. When I said been in relationship, you know, for me, persons who have really disappointed me, who have really, you know, just 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 disappointed me down to my very soul there's a plane coming across while the memories of the bad thing of whatever happened to make me disappointment is very fresh i'd be lying to say there aren't also memories of those good times those times when we laugh, those times when we smile, those times when our souls and spirits met each other in incredible ways and so the challenge is, what do you do with all those feelings? How do you come out in it, out from it in a balanced way? And, and the other piece that I found problematic with what I posted this morning is the idea of you tell the person you forgave them or you say you forgave them, but you decide to never deal with them again. And for me, life is not that simplistic life can be complicated. It could be a divorce and you share children. It could be you share friends, you have common friend groups. It could be you work together. In a lot of instances, if someone has interacted with you to the point where you've been in a relationship and they, have, they are then able to disappoint you, you may not necessarily be able to completely avoid or have no connection with them. So I don't really know how you do that. <laughs> you can let for me, for in some instances, you know, the, the, the opportunities to connect are few and far between. 
But even when they happen, even when we do interact, do I want it to be stiff? Do I want it to be fake? Do I want it to be uncomfortable? Or do I want it to be um, easy? Do I want it to be a little bit more relaxed? Do I want to be able to live in the present and not stay focused on what happened before? And again, some of you are gonna say, well, that's easy for you to say, no, it's not. Because as I shared earlier for me, it takes time. But when I'm saying it takes time, I am actively acknowledging my feelings. I'm not running away from them. I'm acknowledging my feelings. I'm working through my feelings. I'm praying about my feelings and I'm giving, I'm grieving my feelings of the disappointment. That's a big deal. I'm allowing myself to grieve. I allow myself to cry. I don't allow myself to yell, to moan, to hold myself until I get to a place where my emotions have balanced out and I can then walk in true forgiveness. So I just want to share this with you and my prayer for you is if you find yourself in a place where you have been so severely disappointed and you say you've forgiven, but you know deep down you really haven't, my prayer is that you'll give yourself the time and space to grieve, the time and space to feel and to heal so that you can truly forgive and then open yourself up to all that God has for you. Because you can't receive good if you're still holding on to those negative things. And I believe that there is so much more that life has for you. I love each and every one of you, and I will talk with you later. Put your comments. You may or may not agree with me. I'm open to that. But please comment, like, and share. Love you. Bye-bye.